Hello. Hey, hey, come on in. Come on in, say hi when you get here. Make sure I'm on the right page. I should be live on the Crafting Coach's Corner. Y'all yeah. say hi when you get on. Let me know you're here. Ooh, turn it down. Hope y'all are having a great night. We've seen some awesome stuff so far. Had fun playing bingo. Hey, Renee. Hey, Jace. How are y'all doing? Hope you're having a good night. Hey, Giselle. Hey, Sherry. Come on in, everybody. We're gonna paint something fun tonight. Hey, Pearl, how are you? Hey, Tracy Myers, how are you? Hey, Arnetta. So me and Lyle are here tonight. Hey, Janice. We're gonna, we're gonna paint something fun. Hey, Lorraine. Hope everybody's doing good. Yes, that's right, Jace, we got to start off. Did you see his comment? Mm -hmm. Look, this is his lane. Blank. It's just blank. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, Katie Boo Boo. Hey, Carla. Hey, Patty. Hey, Debbie. Hey, everybody. Hey, Terry. So glad y'all are with us tonight. Hey, Pamela. I've had fun watching everybody. Yes, Janice, it has been. Bingo is so fun, isn't it? Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jamie. Janella. Thank y'all for being here. Good question. You should have said Lyle. When is Rachel? There you go. Hey, Ty. Lyle, you going to answer? No. <laughs> Why? Why are you not going to answer? Hey, Nay. Because we go over the same question every night. <laughs> hey, Belinda. Thanks for being here. I hope you uh, enjoy what we got going on tonight. I can't believe you see me. Oh, I'm sorry, Pearl. I can see you. You know, Facebook, sometimes it's weird and we can't see everything. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Angela. Stop, cat. My cat's pulling on my phone cord. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Jace. Hey. Hey, Joy. Uh, oh, Giselle, we're glad you're here. So glad y'all are here, especially if it's your first time. Make sure you like and follow our group page, which is the Crafting Coaches Corner. Um, we do this marathon every Wednesday night, and then each night during the week, we have one of us coaches going live, and on Fridays, we have a spotlight designer going live. So make sure you like this page, and then hop on over to Lovey's Flowers, which is my page, after this live is over, and make sure you like and follow me on there, too. Did you share this to my page? Can you do that, please? Um, I don't know how to do that. We all have, of course, we all have our own business pages. We all have our own YouTube pages. Go to YouTube, follow us on there. You're going live in your underwear. If if I can quit, if Lyle says I can quit, you'll go live in your underwear. There you go. Who's going live? Jace said he'll go live in his underwear if I can quit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can pin that. Hey, okay, can so sprinkle it because I'm not very good at this. Sprinkle it, share. Oh yeah, no, I already pinned share. it. We pinned it. I already shared it. Look, okay, it's you did. Good. I pinned it. You put it in there and I pinned it. There you go. So make sure you like my business page, Lovey's Flowers YouTube page, and all the other um, coaches' pages as well. Hey, Bonnie. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna paint tonight. First of all, let me tell you, this is for me. I'm actually doing something for myself because those of y'all that know or have seen me live before know that I have a storefront shop, okay? And I work as a nurse practitioner on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'm at the shop Wednesday through Saturday. Hey, Becky Jones, how are you? Hey, Shaylin. Um, so, but my boys, I have two boys. No, he still has not Angela. Hey, Taylor. We're working on it. We're Taylor, tell Lyle to let me um, quit my clinic job so I can work at the flower shop all the time. And I can do fresh flowers again. Um, anyways. Oh, good, Jamie. I'm glad you got it. Good, good, good. Um, so, anyways. I, my boys play travel ball. So, starting this weekend until June, one or both of my boys 
place every single weekend, okay? I am the only person that works at my shop. So, I have to be closed on Saturdays. So, tonight, I'm gonna make this sign. This is a door hanger. <laughs> and instead, what do he say? Taylor said for a discount. Taylor, I'll give you a discount. You know I will. You're a return customer. There you go. You can get a discount. So this one, which let me go ahead and flip y'all around before I forget. Because, um, okay. This says at the ballpark is where we spend most of our days, which I love. And I've been wanting to paint this for a long time. But I'm going to put on here, if I'm closed, I'm at the ballpark. Okay? And I'm going to hang it on the front door of my shop so people will understand that I'm closed because I'm watching my kids play. So I thought it was cute. I've been wanting to paint this for a long time. So have I missed any comments? No, just you got an hour, so we better get Well, I know that, but you're supposed to be telling me when people come on and say hi so I can talk to them. Bonnie says hey. Hey, Bonnie. Okay, so we're going to have to help Lyle. Um... Oh, your daughter has that sign. Cute. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn you, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Make more display. Listen. No, I'm trying to help you. I can see it. Right, yeah, right there. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, okay, so I want my. Wanda Wilson says, hey. Hey, Wanda. I want so my this, this home plate to be. Um, I don't want it to be stark white because, you know, nothing in baseball is clean. You know, they have to wear white pants and they're never white after the first time they wear them. So I want the home plate to look. I'm going to distress it a little bit. Okay. So. Taylor, we could do a yellow one for you. Yep, sure can. The I painted, um, I d our softball, high school softball team is having a blue and gold game tomorrow night, and they're having a silent auction. And I painted, show them this template. And I painted, it says, for the love of the game, and the O is the ball, and I painted it a softball. Yeah. I painted it a softball, and I made the, the, um, the bat leopard print. It was so cute. So, if any of y'all are local, y'all go out. Sold. Huh? Taylor said so. Oh. Y'all go out and support the Philly softball tomorrow night. And, um, Bid, there's some awesome auction items. They've been posting them throughout the day, and they are really nice things. Where's that? Lisa so, ran. Here's that penguin you're talking oh, about hey, Lisa. in the background. Yeah, this is um, one of the stack signs from uh, Wilds Creek. And company, which is Stoney and Michelle. They have some great, great stack signs. Oh, I need to show y'all my bunnies that I decoupaged from them the other day. I'll show y'all those too. And I've got some wreath attachments to show you as well. When we get towards the end, I'll show you those because they're super cute. And if y'all make wreaths, y'all may want some. Just saying. They are cute. Um, and I got an order today at the shop for one of those love signs, and the person that ordered it wants the ba the ball half baseball and half softball. That's going to be cute, too. So, if Maylee ever plays ball, then that's what we'll have to do, but I'm not feeling like that's going to be her thing, do you? What is it? Taylor's daughter. Oh, hey, Hallie. Tell her I said hi. I can hear you. If she's still watching me, Hallie and Maylee need to meet because I feel like they would like each other. They would have some fun together. Maylee's been in. Corner. Oh, Michelle says I need that template. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Wait. This one that I'm that I'm doing right now. This template is a Chasing Rue Designs. I love all her templates. That for the love of the game, that's either bristles and brush strokes or artsy and blue. And I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but it's one of those two. And if you don't um, like their page on Etsy, you need to go because they always have the cutest templates. Artsy and blue, 
Jay said, can he ask you to paint all in, uh, or not paint all in one direction? Huh? I guess you were going up and down too much instead of side to side. Jace, are you staying? In, are you staying in your lane, Jace? Because I'm pretty sure I heard you say you don't paint. You don't want to paint in all different directions, because then that's when you see your brush strokes. Michelle, you need to get your son. What'd he say? Uh, he say I'm asking, name? do you paint all in one direction or not? Oh. He said he can't type. Oh. <laughs> I try to paint the strokes all in one direction because it looks much more professional and you don't see the strokes as much. Hallie so. is watching and she tickled laugh. She Aww. got tickled because uh, you shouted her out. Well, good. I'm glad you're watching. Hallie, you should come sometime and me and you and Maylee can paint together because Maylee likes to paint. She wears most of it. Maylee wears a lot of it. Yes, she does, but she paints good. <laughs> Amanda floods his hair. Hey, Amanda. How are you? Jace is... I'm in the same boat, Jace. What'd he, he say? He can't uh, paint a stick picture. Figure, yes, he can. Let alone the dang sign. Y'all so. could if you tried. Y'all just don't want to try. That's correct. That is correct. Although I taught you how to knit one time and you could do it. Made a dish ring. Yep. Carol Kohler says, Hi, Rachel. Hey, and Carol. Family. How are you? All right. So. Okay, got that base done, and now I'm gonna base coat my bats. And I like to use khaki for it, but I don't know if I have enough. Hmm. See, Hallie loves to paint too. Oh, good. We need to have a girl's paint day. Paint your mama's sign. That's right. Oh, she'd love that. Um, may have to. Go over there and see if I have any more khaki. We'll see. And you're supposed to be ready for your. I am ready. Thank you. Night. I'm ready. So I'm just. These bats are gonna be um, leopard print. So. I do the base of them. A tan color. Like a wood bat. Who's the nine o'clock show tonight? Tonight after me is. Mr. Jace Champagne. Oh, that's why I said don't rush, take your time. Yeah, because he gets, he's fast. Everything he does, he's fast. Well, that's not a bad thing. I know. Get more stuff done. If I, if I uh, made stuff like he does, I wouldn't worry about being fast either because everything he makes looks amazing. That's so sweet. Well, I mean, it's the true. Is I want to paint. You can come Friday Amanda. to the shop and you can paint something. Yeah. Wait, I think she's got something Friday. Did you tell me you got something Friday? For some reason, I'm thinking you said you have something to do Friday. But you know, I can't remember. Carolina says, hey everyone. Hey, Carolina, Carolina or Carolina? Carolina. Well, that's a pretty name. Mm-hmm. Okay. She didn't have anything until four. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, we'll see you at 10 o'clock. Uh, she may not want to come be there at 10 o'clock. She doesn't have to. Well, I'll be at work anyway. Y'all listen to what I had to do today. Oh, me. She says she'll be there. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, from the paint Good. Um... We, me and Lyle, huh? Got to run on the table. Oh, like that matters. Me and Lyle have an appointment at 9 a.m. in the morning mm. to go meet with our tax, our CPA. So, guess what I did today, which I still have to finish when I'm done with this. Watch your sleeve, dude. I gotta finish getting my taxes all in order so I can take them to 
so we can go meet with him in the morning. I'll take, okay. Here's the question number one. La, what, what color should we do our hat? Because my boys travel ball team, one of them's black and white or green and white, and then the other one is red. Red for the Cardinals. Yeah, but I'm afraid they don't think it's No, Taylor, we ain't got no OB appointments in the morning. Oh, we Lord, no. No, no, that's not happening. Carol, what's his name? Hey, Carol. Okay. You can just pick a color. Do the blue that's on the thing. Do blue. Okay. Right. We'll do blue. Um, let's do blue. Let's do light blue in the middle. We'll just make it cute colors, not necessarily the colors of my boys' ball team. I wish my boys, one of my boys was this color. I love this color. This is my favorite. No, my OB days have passed five years ago. Mary Williams says, good evening. Sorry hey, she's Mary. late to the party. That's okay. She's got her grandkids over there. Oh, so. fun. Well, you enjoy them. You can watch the replay. My children are being extremely quiet, which, you know, is a little nerve-wracking. Susan says hello. Hey, Susan. Susan who? Condron. What? Condron. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Lyle can't read. Okay. Lyle's in college and he can't read. I well, said you had to be able to read. Yeah, you do. When you're taking English comp, you best be reading. Yeah. It's overrated. Mitzi Mills is home. Hey, Rachel Mitzi. And Lyle. Taylor, I'm trying to talk. If Taylor's still on here, I'm trying to talk Lyle into taking that statistics this semester. I think he needs to get it over with. Mm. You Mitzi do. It. Thank you, Mitzi. You need to get it over with. Just do it. Look, there's probably somebody on here that's really good at statistics. And if you needed help, I bet they'd help you. You uh, know what? Apparently, it? we uh, found out the other day that a guy at our base has a master's in, my, in math. Who? RJ. <gasps> Why was he holding out on uh, y'all? We don't know, and Taylor was upset when he found oh. out. Did he know that Taylor was in statistics? Well, no, that's what oh. brought it up. We started talking about it. Well, he didn't know then. I and mean, his sister has a PhD in math. Well, law, there you go. Mm -hmm. You best take that test while, well, before anybody switches bases or something, because <laughs> they can help you. Taylor said it's rough. It listen. I took statistics in undergrad when I was in nursing school. Didn't learn a single thing. Passed it somehow. The good Lord helped me. And then when I was in nurse practitioner school, you have to take advanced t statistics. I super didn't learn a single thing in there. I have no clue how I passed that class. Uh, the I remember going for the study meeting with the teacher for the first test and he nobody else could have gotten in his office. We were so packed in there like sardines. Yes, son. Talking about this son? I like that sign. Yeah, yeah. Oh, talking about where you ordered this? This sign, I cut this out myself with the jigsaw. Um, I ordered the template from Chasing Rue Designs on Etsy. And then I you print out the template and tape it pieces together and cut it out with my jigsaw. He said he was going to stop at a bachelor's and he ain't taking advanced statistics. Look, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I did not learn one single thing. I have no clue how I passed that class. But, you know, I did. And I don't, I, I think I just like blacked out because I don't remember a thing about it. I don't even remember going to the class, honestly. I just remember going to that meeting in his office and. We were packed in there, and I thought, there's no way I'm going to pass this class. Hey, Sharla. Hey, Sharla. So, 
Look, be still there, boy. <laughs> Stani said that's because they skew the numbers to make the stats come out the way they want. I guess. I think he felt sorry for us because, you know, all of us, most all of us in there were uh, in nurse practitioner school. Yeah, and you're he, not math major. He okay. probably thought, well, they're never going to use this again. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't. I use statistics more in, in this business than I do in nursing. All right, so I'm just going over this because it wasn't covered as good as I, whoops, as good as I wanted it to be. So I'm just doing another quick coat and then we're gonna distress it here in just a minute. Do y'all have anything that y'all are interested in seeing me do on my lives? Thursdays are my days to go live in the group, so tomorrow night I'll be live at some point. Um, and I'll post in the group tomorrow what time I'm going live, but, you know, I've told y'all before, you know, I do lots of different crafts, so is there anything at all that y'all would like to see me do? Um, hand lettering, watercolor painting. Um, Lisa Pratt said canvas painting. Okay, canvas painting, we can do that. Knitting, crocheting, sewing, um, vinyl, embroidery, applique. Uh, I do cookie decorating, but that takes a lot of prep work and I don't have that ready for tomorrow night. Of course, painting, wreaths, arrangements, <laughs> what? Taylor said underwater basket weaving. Oh, underwater? <laughs> hey, listen, I did take scuba diving in college. Uh, Mary Williams says watercolors. Okay. And Georgia Owen says, what's the name of that turquoise? Well, she's got them in her honeycomb um, right now. now this, you can find it. Yeah, I know what it is. It's tur It's called turquoise, but it's um, Ceramcoat is the brand name, and it's just called turquoise. It's my fave. Hey, Leah. Your sister, Leah? Yeah. Hey, Leah. Uh, <laughs> Glenda Wood says embroidery. Uh -huh. I don't know you would do that over there, though. Well, I guess you'd turn yeah. off the Wi-Fi and it'd work. Yeah. Or, yeah. Janice Cross Strong stitch. thought that Taylor's thing said underwear basket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let Lyle do that one. Yeah. I'm going to let Jay, since he said he was going to do it in his underwear. Yeah, Jay said he would. He would, too. Mm. You know he would. Um... I'd make rugs on a loom. I do cross stitching, knitting, crocheting. Oh, uh, there's a good one. Arnetta what? says you can decorate fabric balls. Yep, we can do that. Um, trying to think of what all I do. Cross stitch, but that takes a long time. Well, I mean, you couldn't do a whole design on a live, but you could. We could do some stuff and I could teach them, you know, the basics. Jay said, what are you doing tomorrow? I don't know, Jay. That's what we're trying to figure out, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to see if they had anything that they want to see. The coach's Corner called you Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Without the felony. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, um, thinking about taking like a month at a time and doing like on my Thursday night doing knitting and for like a whole month each Thursday night I would do knitting and teach from start like from the beginning how to cast on how to do stitches how to cast off you know and then at the end of the month you would know you could learn the basics of knitting and we could do the same with crochet Michelle Jackson says you need to knit. Yeah. Janella says do a rag bow. Okay, I can do that. And yep. then Katie asked if you can build a bunk bed. Katie! <laughs> mm -hmm. No! <laughs> I can't. Listen, I cannot build. I um, found a picture on Facebook today when Lyle lets me do um, 
flowers again. I found this wood base thing that I want him to make for me to go in my cooler. He says he can do it, so we'll see. Do you know your knitting needles off the top of your head? My knitting needles? Michelle Jackson said, tell her what needles she needs to buy. Oh, if I was just starting out, um, I would buy probably like size eight or 10. You do not want tiny needles. You don't want the hugest ones either. So I'd probably get an eight or a 10. Do not buy metal needles. I would start with wood, bamboo, because the yarn does not slip on those. Um, so don't start out with metal. And you also want to get an easy yarn to see. So I would start with a solid color. Um, when I started <laughs> knitting, I was a senior in high school. I taught myself, I bought a book. I bought the tiniest little metal long needles and that eyelash yarn. <laughs> Y'all, it's a mess. You can't see your stitches with all those fuzzy things coming off that yarn. So get a get a yarn that's not, you want a good size yarn. I'd just get something at Walmart, like a um, Red Heart yarn, just something cheap to practice with. And then um, the wood needles. That's all you need to start out with. You Wanda do not says, need anything fancy. Have you ever made the huge arm knitting blanket? I have. We just threw one away, didn't we? Yep. We had one that I made, and we used it until it fell apart because we used it so Tony much. Tony says, I want to know how Lyle actually gets you to listen to him. I need pointers. Listen to, he, to me? He don't listen, listen to me. me. What? How Lyle gets you to listen to me. I don't listen to you. <laughs> Are you talking about me quitting the clinic? Well, that's a little different. I know I wouldn't be happy with him if he just up and quit his job without me agreeing, so mm. I'm not gonna do that to him. I don't want him to hold it over my head either, so. Do you know how to, do you know how to go the chunky blanket? How to do the chunky blanket? I do. That would be cool. I sure do. I made one for Myself and my mom and my sister-in-law all for Christmas one year. Um, they're easy to do. They just take a lot of yarn. So they're not the cheapest project, but they're really pretty. Laura, wash this, wash this hay. Hey, Laura. All right, so everything's got two coats. Oh, there's my chip brush. I was going to say, I don't even have a brush over here. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a darker brown. And you just get a chip brush dry. Do not wet this ever, okay? And then I'm just gonna get some brown on the end of my paintbrush. And then I'm gonna take it and wipe most of it off. It kind of works it into those um, bristles. Bristles, yep, thank you, thank you. And it sheds. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth. And I got- Jay says, what do you not know how to do? Um, I don't know how to glass blow. <laughs> oh, really? I don't. But if you want me to learn, I will. No, we ain't buying all them machines. How do you know? Georgia says she learned knitting years ago. Knitted yeah. one dog sweater. Now yeah. forgotten. Oh, I've knitted myself several sweaters. Michelle Jackson says, excuse me, I was late. Would you introduce yourself? Oh, I probably didn't do that. I'm so sorry. You did. It's the very first. I don't know that I said who I was. I am Rachel Holmes. This is my husband, Lyle. Um, I'm the owner of Lovey's Flowers. And I have a storefront shop in Huntingdon, Tennessee. And then on Facebook, I'm Lovey's Flowers. And on Etsy. And on YouTube. So... I, um, I do a little bit of everything. I did start out doing fresh flowers at my shop, which I'm trying to get back into. Um, but I do artificial. I make wreath attachments, painted signs, wreath signs, anything, any craft. I love to do it. Angela says, can you do pottery? No, I don't know how to do that. And we don't have a wheel. I don't have a wheel. Katie says, can you fill a cavity? <laughs> No, uh, I might says, learn how to do that next. Taylor said, Lyle won't <laughs> tell you no. Take up glass blowing. There you go. Tom Hutton says thank you. Hey, Tom. Hey. No, if I hey, could fill a cavity, repair breaks now. I would save time, uh, save money because uh, Miller had to go get one filled not long ago. 
All right, so now I'm gonna start on my leopard print and I'm just gonna make all different kinds of shapes randomly on my bat here. What? A little tape for being funny now. What'd he say? Can you put in chest tubes? He's making fun of me. Um, Taylor, I don't know how, but I could if, if somebody taught me. Sharon Fogel says hey. Hey, Sharon. Tom Hutton says, can't see you. What? I know you can't see oh, me. Oh, you just see the design. I got you. Oh, you can't see what I'm painting, Lyle. You're I'm looking at it right here. You can't see what I'm painting. It's off the screen. Uh, I just got that on your your phone. Yeah. Sorry, my um, assistant is failing. He I'm might get fired to tonight. Comments. Well, um, the screen is with the comments, dude. So, come on. Angela says, Ken Lyle, I guess do pottery. I can't do anything. No. No, Lyle is not a crafty one. He is not the crafting kind. My brush, it shed everywhere. He said, show him his, bun his bunnies. Okay. Was that the ones up there? Yeah. We will Hold on. Jace, you have to wait so you can watch the whole thing. Ah. You know Jace can't stay doing one thing for an hour. Yes, Stoney, we can do that. What? He put Lyle can put in chest tubes. Yes, Lyle can. You're right. Lyle can do something I can't. I could if I was trained, but I wouldn't just walk up and do it right now because I don't never been trained. Okay, now, those of you who are moms, y'all help me and Lyle figure out how to make Maylee wear what we want her to wear to school. Maylee's going through this phase. She only wants to wear dresses. And she's starting to kindergarten next year. And I told her she has to wear shorts if she wears a dress because she plays on the playground and that's not a appropriate to wear a dress and she doesn't like to wear shoes so if y'all have any parenting advice on how to um, get our five-year-old to not Terry says good luck yeah Jane says you can't okay well I'm glad it's not just Taylor us says then good luck. Hallie's the same way okay it always makes me feel better to know it's just not just us you know we had a, she had a meltdown because she was supposed to go on a field trip yesterday and she has a t-shirt she had to wear and I told her she had to wear pants and she said she wasn't going. Oh, Tashanta so, says good luck. I fight with her daughter daily and she's nine. We can go on oh, the way no. to nine fifths. Nine, so it don't get better anytime no. soon, huh? Gee, women well, are trouble me. from day one. You better stay in your lane. <laughs> You done said something you weren't supposed to on a live before. You better watch it. I was just talking about my wife. Mm -mm, that's even, no. That's not any better. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is paint um, the, the um, laces of the baseball. Of course, we're going to do those red. A lot of people are talking to you. Oh. Cassie says, oh my goodness, I need this in, but in different colors. Do mm. you sell them? Yes. Yes, I mm. will have this listed on my Etsy shop. Cassie, we were talking to a guy earlier about doing one in yellow for softball. You can do anything. Yeah, you can. This can be totally customized. I think softball would be cool. Mm -hmm. I think even if you did the plate like this and did yellow laces. No. No? No. Still looks like a home that does plate, not look like plate. a softball. Yeah, yeah, you're right. See, I'm not creative. Nope. Cassie is Jace's boss. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cassie. Yep. Oh. 
we will um, keep you in our prayers, Cassie. I'm just kidding. Jace is great. He is one talented guy. Okay. Um, okay. I just got to put a little more brown on these spots because... You know, I don't like them to look streaky. I feel like Maylee's asleep. She may be. What time is it? Mm -hmm. 8.35. Oh, hear me. I'm doing good. Maylee Ann. Maylee. Oh, she's, she's about asleep. She said, mmm. She said, Cassie will probably want it in purple and gold. Hey, we can do that. We can do any color. Cassie, I don't know if you were here when I first started. I'm putting this on the door of my flower shop because I'm gonna ride on there because I'll have to be closed on Saturdays because my boys play travel ball. And it's going to say, if I'm closed, I'm at the ballpark. But the original design says, the ballpark is where I spend most of my days, which I think is so cute, too. Or maybe I should, should say, if I'm closed, I'm probably at the ballpark. No, I would just go with I'm at the ballpark. Yeah, because that's... Or at the hotel waiting on a ball game. Right. See that one. Okay. There you go. Y'all can't I can't wait for y'all to see what Jace is making. It's gonna be so so pretty. He told us last night what he was making, and I can't wait. Can't wait. Did y'all play bingo? Have fun playing bingo. I love bingo. That's what we should. That's what we should do. We should have start a bingo place here. Mm. Why? It'd be fun. Time to do that. Okay, that's what we'll do. What? Oh, no, no, just make sure mine's staying up to date. That's what we can do when our kids are grown then. All right, so I'm going to go through, make sure my edges are even here. Or smooth. Okay. Well, is anybody saying anything? Janice said it was fun. I love listening to to Nate talk. Teeny. 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 That's right. So fun. And then Michelle's design was beautiful, both designs. And so was Katie's. It means don't mess up. What? That means don't mess up. What means don't mess up? All theirs are good. You want oh. to be good too. Right. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. 
Now let's. Lisa, she's loving it, and you can't wait to see when you're done. It's see gonna the be cute. Piece. Okay. Now we're gonna put in our little laces here. Debbie says hello. Hey, Debbie. Debbie. I don't want to mess people's names up. <laughs> S-I-N-T-E-B-I-N. Okay. And I'm going to create... What? What's that mean? I don't know. Oh. Me either. What? It meant to say I'm going to create on Saturday. Can't wait. Oh, that's teeny. Okay. I'm not creating a satellite. Gotcha. I was wondering what a satellite. You never know. Teeny is that creative. She could take a satellite and make something pretty out of it. But I wasn't sure what that meant. Okay. Now I'm going to take the black and. Face. Huh? Face. No. No. No, and no. Move over. I'm making the black around the leopard print. Oh, that's thick. When you know when that one, move it more toward me, you can see none of it. Okay. What if I turned it like that, it would be better. Mm -hmm. So when I do leopard print, I always just kind of make some outlines around it. I don't like that brush very much. Law. Maddox sounds like he's tearing something up in there. Sometimes I make a little larger area in the black just to give it some different texture. Do y'all have leopard print ball bats? No, we don't. No, I don't think the boys would go for that. Who said that? Angela. Oh. No, but Maylee would want one if she could get one. She's not playing ball this year, though. some different black. This black in here is the oops, I just squirted it all in the white. Good grief. Chase said if he played ball, he would need a glittered ball paint. Yes, you would. And a glittered leopard bat. Yep. That would be perfect. Sounds expensive. And what bat that you've purchased is not expensive? Well, they're all ridiculous. They are ridiculous. They are crazy. Taylor Shield says the meta. Yes, we have two of them, Taylor. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So if you can see, if you haven't painted leopard print before, there is no right or wrong. There is no certain way that you have to paint this. Just make some areas thicker, some 
dinner. Leave some open. Taylor's daughter play this weekend? Yeah. Where at? I don't know. I'll probably go back, well, I, no doubt, I will go back over this black once it dries a little bit better. Probably not where we're playing. Taylor, uh, where's your daughter play this weekend? No. Tom wants to know how you get into painting. How did I get into painting? Mm -hmm. I actually started painting burlap hangers um, before my first son was born. So that was... Mm. 12 years ago. Yeah. He's 12 years old, so it was over that. The first thing I did was they had a a little thing at this local school, like a little craft thing where people could come and shop, and I sold some there. And then I've just been painting ever since. I've never taken, like, a class or anything. Taylor and him playing Ripley, Mississippi is quite a bit further than us. But, oh. And then Sharon says, do you have your own laser printer? Laser printer? Mm -hmm. No. We have a lot of for, stuff. For I'm what, don't have what kind of laser printer? I have a sublimation printer, and I have a I have a laser cutter, but it's um. I have a Glowforge. It's small. It doesn't do the big stuff. Sounds like a horse in the house, don't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, got that. Now, we're going to have to dry for a second so I can do the writing, okay? So, hang on with me just a minute. pretty good. Now I'm going to take my pencil and write out my words. So if we're closed, we're at the ballpark. You think that's what we should put? But if closed, we're no, at the ballpark. No, if we're closed. But there's no we, it's just you. Listen, Linda, you come and help me. So, if, you want me to put if I'm closed? Yeah. I, apostrophe, See, everybody thought that was funny. I thought it was funny, what? too. You, you're the only one there. I know. So, put if closed. No, I'm not, that's not a sentence. It ain't gotta be per. It's, this is your own design. Okay. Now you can see Tran on it. Thank goodness, because he's hard. <laughs> If I'm closed. Katie said, listen, Linda. I mean, live. Yeah. We're at. Jeanette says, hey, Rachel. Hey, Mom. Jeanette. How are you? We're at the ballpark. Here, put gone to the fields. Mm -hmm. You put it whatever you want on your side when you order it. Mm -hmm. And we'll make did it you, yellow. Did you see the original one? It's cute. It says at the ballpark is where I spend most of my, is where we spend most of our days. I I would put that here. I'm just making this one for my shop, so okay. Um you know, I'm not a big fan of these paint markers, but we'll see if this one will hang on. 
Oh, no, I don't like it. A uh, sharpie? No, you can't write with a sharpie. My other paint markers are way over there. I'm way over here. Can you not get around? I can get it. I can get it. Oh, la. Break down the house. See them in that package? We got. Thank you. Um. I might need this one. I knew that one was about to go. Okay. Let's see. I'm just trying to get this paint marker started, y'all. Takes a minute. Here we go. We're in business. Okay. Yeah. And this, you know, one of the month, like one month, we could do hand lettering. If anybody's interested in doing hand lettering, we could do that. Don't you know calligraphy? I know faux calligraphy. Well, it's not the real calligraphy. But I do know faux calligraphy. Which is, I mean, if you're going to do... Like a faux X? Yes. If you were going to do real calligraphy, you, you have to like really, really practice that differently because... They have like the light table and it's much more precise. Look, I done got red on it. Mm. I know. Sophie Ann. I usually don't like to use this paint marker. And I may just write it out in the paint marker and then go back over it with a paint because I don't like the way it looks all in paint marker. Somebody in the coach's corner said calligraphy is their next adventure. Oh, it's probably teeny. We had a lady that did our wedding invitations and yeah, it was phenomenal. She freehanded all of it. Yeah, she used done calligraphy for a long time. She is amazing. Shell's decor is on. Says Jace promised me he would critique a wreath, but never did. <laughs> Jeanette says she loves her calligraphy. And yes, it was teeny. Okay. Yep. You're fixing it all in your paint. Look, children. Look, go on somewhere, cats. Okay, if we're closed, or if I'm closed. Ooh. Somebody sounded angry. Is that Sophie? Oh. <laughs> I think it's Sophie because Oreo has that piece of plastic and Sophie loves them. Okay. Is this on your Etsy? I'm making a mess and a half. It's not on my Etsy yet, 
But as soon as I get done with it, I will take pictures and post it on there. Hey, don't let me run out of time because I got to show my rabbit heads. Well, you might want to fix it before you post it on Insta. I've said when I finish you it. You might want to show your rabbit heads. What time is it? 8.55. Okay. Hold on. I've only got one more word. You want all three? Um, they're right here. Well, I asked you about those. Oh, yeah, you can get those too. Yeah. Those are different. So y'all, I will finish this and I will post this picture tomorrow. And I can even show y'all tomorrow night on the on my live because I'll finish it. And I'll seal it and put the hanger on it and all that fun stuff. Jace. Jace, are you still on here, Jace? He's prepping. He's ready to go. He's prepping. Well, I was going to show him his, his rabbits. He's here. Okay, Jace, look, I'm fixing to show your rabbit heads. Don't get off. Look, I obviously have some cleaning up to do on this one because I just ran my hand all through the red paint that I thought was dry. Lisa Pratt says she loves the lettering. Thank you. I love to do hand lettering. Okay. You're probably one of them kids in school that doodled all the time. I was. Absolutely, I was. All right, first of all, these are the um, rabbit. Stuff. You only got two of them. There's three. There's three in a set, but um, from Wilds Creek and Company. And I decoupage this with um, uh, scrapbook paper and then painted the little nose and feet parts. These are sitting up on my mantel. And let me move this because I'm going to show you what I've made for is a custom order from the one and only Jace. But they are so cute, y'all. These are bunny wreath attachments. And you can move, these are wires, so you can move them however. Look, I'm not good at this angle thing. It's got a little mouth on it. It's got the little ears and I eyes. Said he's excited. Everybody says they're cute. Aren't they cute? But they have the pipe cleaner, so you can put them in your wreath. And he's getting two of them. These will be listed in my Etsy shop also. So um, if you want some of these, you can private message me or um, you can wait until it's listed on my Etsy shop. But if you want to message me, then I can send you the link to my Etsy shop when I get them listed. So, Everybody loves them. thank y'all. I thought it turned out so cute. So, is it time? Oh, you need to yeah. sign off. We did good on time. Well, we did good on finish. time. I got close. I got close. Oh. Jay said nobody can have any. Just him. Just Jace can have them. Okay. Um. So, anyways. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate y'all um, being here and talking with us. Um, I hope that you'll go over to A Touch of Decor. Actually, on this page, though. But A Touch of Decor is next. And then, don't forget, tomorrow, I will... Mm -hmm. Hey, Juju. Thank you. Um, I will be on doing my live on um, the Crafting Coaches Corner tomorrow night. So we'll do something different tomorrow night. And thank you all so much. I hope you have a great night. And we will see you soon. Bye.